that the Prophet Yusuf salam, he was young and he had many older brothers. And he was the son of a prophet, the son of the Prophet Yaqub salam, Jacob, known also when we hear Bani Israel, he is known, he is Israel. Bani Israel stems from him, alayhi salam. Very, very important prophet in our tradition. So Yusuf alayhi salam, who is also a prophet, he is the son of, of Yaqub alayhi salam. And he had many brothers. And so early on in Yusuf alayhi salam's life, his brothers were jealous of him. They were jealous. And their jealousy, they were like, why does, why does uh, my, our father give so much more attention to Yusuf alayhi salam? That's what they felt, right? These were their feelings. And so what, did they, what do they end up doing? They end up plotting to find a way to harm their brother. And then some of them get to the point where they say, you know what? I want to kill our brother because we're so jealous of him that why does he even have to exist? And so they began this process of trying to convince their dad, their father, Yaqub alayhi salam, let Yusuf come with us. Let him come with us. We want to go outside. We want to play. Let him come with us. And Yaqub alayhi salam, originally he's hesitant. No, 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 no. But then he sends Yusuf alayhi salam. As they take him, and many people know this story, as they take Yusuf alayhi salam, they originally make it seem like they're going to just all hang out as a family. And then they are about to kill him until one of them suggests, no, 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 no. They see a well. They said, no, throw him down that well. He's, not, I mean, he's as good as dead, right? Throw him down that well. Let him just die in that well. So they take their own brother, their own brother, and they throw him down a well. And now this is, imagine, you are, you are, the, you are the young brother. And your older sibling just threw you down a well. You're in a very, very dark and difficult place. And they leave. And they go and they make up a story, tell their father, you know, a wolf ate him and so on. Now, Yusuf alayhi salam lives a life of a lot of difficulty. What happens is he doesn't die in the well. Of course, Allah had something different written for him. People who are on their way to that well, and they're, they're on a journey route, they stop at the well and they come to get water and then they see a, a boy come up and they get excited. And they, he's then sold into slavery. They take him and they sell him into slavery. He lives a life of difficulty and of tests because of the jealousy that his brothers had for him. A lot of hurt is now coming through this process for Yusuf alayhi salam. He then is wronged again by a whole community, the house that he's in. The, the wife of the master of that house, she tries to seduce him and eventually gets him thrown in jail because he wouldn't succumb, because he was a person of nobility. He didn't do anything wrong. He gets thrown into jail. Now he spends a period of his life in jail, in prison. Again, an immense difficulty. A lot of hurt getting come. A lot of hurt happening inside Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam. But what ends up happening is that at some point, he gets out of that situation. And through the way that Allah works, Allah, ennob Allah ennobles him and honors him. And he is given the position, essentially, if you could consider the economic minister of Egypt, at a very, very high position in the government because of the abilities that he had. And so now Egypt at this point enters into a famine. And Yusuf alayhi salam has come up with a plan to store food. And he is responsible for distributing food to all of the people in the lands from far, far away that will come to get that food. And so at some point, who does he see many decades later come to get food? He sees a caravan of which his brothers are a part of that caravan. These are the brothers that hurt him. These are the brothers that plotted to kill him. These are the brothers that through their jealousy literally threw him down a well and left him in the wild. And so he sees them come. And he come up, comes up with a plan that they come the first time, they have no idea that it's him. Of course, he's grown up. They would have no idea. But then eventually he sends them back and they come a second time to get more food. And he asks them this question. Now he wants to, to show them that he knows. He asks them, do you know what you did to Yusuf when you were in a state of, of, of jahiliya, when you were jahil, when you were ignorant? And they say, Innaka anta Yusuf, are you Yusuf? He says, I am Yusuf. Yes, I am Yusuf. And now remorse overcomes his brothers. Of course, I mean, how could you even live with that? I'm sure for many, many, many years after that, that taunted them. How could we do this to our little brother out of jealousy? But they did it. They did it. And now remorse comes to them. And what do they do? They ask for an apology. Forgive us. 
We're sorry. We, we, were, we were, yes, we were wrong. We're sorry. And what does this noble Yusuf al Islam do? What does he do? He doesn't have to forgive them. I mean, somebody tried to kill you, somebody tried to throw you down, they threw you down a well, they left you. I mean, you don't have to forgive them. He could just say, you know, we'll talk about it on the day of judgment. We're, I don't have to forgive you, though. But what does he do? He says, there is no blame upon you this day. Nothing. Allah is all forgiving, Allah is all merciful. And he pardons them completely. And he pardons them completely. What manifest character he had. And we have to think, when we wrong people, if we're the ones who do the wrong, do we ever get the courage to go and apologize? And if we are the ones who are, do, who are, who are being wrong, do we have the magnanimity and the expansiveness of heart to follow the sunnah of Yusuf salam and also the sunnah of the Messenger to have a heart that is full of mercy and full of forgiveness?